Hey guys, uh, another episode. This is episode seven of the 52 things I think I know. Uh, and this one, this one's a big one. Really, really, really big. Maybe the biggest that I'm going to cover the entire year. Um, I don't know. It's close. It's got to be close. Uh, and that is, you can't save the world by watching the destroyers. Uh, what does that mean? It means what you focus on is what you get. So if, if your focus is on all the things that are going wrong in the world, and that's not to say that they're not, right? okay? There are a lot of issues and, and challenges and opportunities and problems in the world. But if your focus is on that, you're going to get more of it. First off, you're going to see more of it because you're looking at it, right? And and it will blow out of proportion uh, and in direct relation to the amount of focus you put upon it. So, and, but the, the, of course, the inverse is also true, right? If you're focused on what is right and going well, which I would argue is the vast majority. <laughs> um, the world isn't going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, not really. Uh, if you focus on those things, they will grow as well. But, but what it really comes down to is what are you going to do, right? Not, this, what, not only what are you going to look at and focus upon, but what are your actions? <clears throat> if your actions are only to resist what you don't want, it will grow stronger in your own mind, which is the most important part actually, and in reality. <clears throat> because you're giving them, when you resist someone, you're giving them focus of your attention, other people's attention, as opposed to, okay, what, what we would do otherwise, right? And, and look, let me, let me say this right now for, <clears throat> Before I go any further, what I'm not I'm not saying is that uh, you shouldn't protest things that are wrong. Right? This is not an anti-protest rant. Okay. Protesting things that are wrong has utility, right? To a point. Okay. Um, if that's all you're doing then what you want, whatever that is, will never come to fruition, right? If you're only resisting, then you'll get more of what you're resisting. <clears throat> so instead of doing that, instead of focusing all of your effort, or our efforts, I'm going to preach to myself at the same time, because I've, I've certainly protested many things and resisted a lot of things, and I still do sometimes. Uh, instead of focusing on resisting and protesting and, and focusing on the destroyers, the people who we think are destroying the world, uh, we should be creating the one we want. So it's fine to, to understand what you don't want. Okay. As long as that's a signpost that points you in the direction of what you do want. So, uh, this is the reason I don't watch the news ever anymore. Now, I'm not saying you don't have to, you shouldn't watch the news necessarily. Uh, I will say it's not doing you any good. Um, you might think it is, but it isn't. <laughs> um, because it's almost all negative. <clears throat> it's not showing you what to do. It's showing you what other people are doing that's wrong. Which doesn't really teach you a whole hell of a lot. Trust me, I, I've spent a lot of times watching the news in my in my life, uh, and it's never done me a lick of fucking good. <clears throat> I get enough of it, <laughs> right here on social media, you know, elsewhere. I know what's going on, and really, there's nothing new about it. So what what I like to focus on, and what I try to focus on every day now is, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hopefully, it's something that's right, something good, something positive, right? And I focus on that. 
Because for one thing, it's the only thing I can do, really. In the end, it's the only things I can actually affect are the things that I can physically and, you know, uh, emotionally and, you know, influence or, or actually work on. So if I'm not working on those things, then I'm essentially working for what I don't want if I'm focused on that because I'm giving them my energy and I'm, I refuse, right? Um, there, there are people in, in group, you know, groups out there that I very much disagree with. I would go so far as to even say that many times I hate them. <laughs> I don't, I know I shouldn't and that doesn't do any good for me to do so, but that's the way I feel because I, I think they're very, very wrong. That being said, <clears throat> it doesn't, it doesn't hurt them one bit for me to feel that way. It only hurts me and it prevents me from doing something that might actually undermine what they're doing. So work on, figure out what you do want, work on that. Create instead of focusing on the things that you don't want. <clears throat> I apologize, throat's kind of rough this morning. <clears throat> anyway, uh, just keep that in mind. You, you can't save the world by focusing on the destroyers. Focus instead on the creators, the people who are working to do things the right way, that are, that are working out of compassion and generosity and abundance instead of scarcity and fear, right, and, and greed. Forget about those people. You can't change them. There's nothing you can do about it. So change yourself. Think about what you're going to do. What are you going to do that's compassionate, that's generous, that comes out of a feeling of abundance instead of me, 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 scarcity. I'm worrying about what some other body, someone else is going to take from you. What can I give to them, to other people that will make the world a better place? And then the world will be a better place. It'll be a better place in your mind. And it'll be a better place in other people's as well. Because that energy will go out and multiply. That's enough for today. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.